Continuing our VFX series, let's make this hand scrape effect done in Houdini. It's fully procedural. When you move the hand somewhere else, it will uh, make the scrapes. Actually, let me do that. Let me just smooth it. Have this angled. Yeah, project files are going to be on my Gumroad page, Patreon, and my YouTube membership. You might think you could do this using dynamic paint, but not really because we want to have that detail here that dynamic paint doesn't really support. Uh, so we're going to use geometry nodes to add this effect. You can see what we have. You have secondary particles and uh, we first let's add our hand. I'm just going to use my asset library to look for a hand and I'll just grab this. I already have the animation let me add a plane uh, it doesn't have to be a flat plane it can be even an even plane i'm sure that there is good contact between uh, the plane and our hand let's start by subdividing this because we need a lot of resolution for this to work i'll add a subdivide mesh and make sure that most of the resolution you add is under the hand let's make a contact mask uh, for the hand so i'm just going to go here and uh, grab my hand uh, it should be under here and just drag it in here if i look at it here uh, we need to make sure that this is set relative so that they have the same position i can even actually hide the original hand for now just so i can look at this animation is great okay so now let's uh, create the contact mask using geometry proximity node and uh, if we look at this under this mesh you can already see the contact points i can add a map range add some contrast to this so i can uh, i can use uh, this here let me bring this back so that we see the contact points uh, i think that's good enough but i can even make this hash using a, a car ramp just make this really high contrast if i use a set position here and uh, this is our geometry this is the mass we have just created for the to influence the z offset I see what we get if I flip this using uh, flipping this here yeah we get that so as we push these values into the mesh but uh, it's doing the opposite of what we want it's pushing the vertices up instead of down so I can use a math node and multiply this by a negative value uh, like that and uh, you can see the radius of influence we have and uh, that is controlled by this ramp here you can make it re really tight or and even uh, this here so you can uh, make it whatever you want so we get that but you see the imprints are not sticky so they don't stick around and uh, if you want this to be longer you can just scale this down we want the imprints to be persistent so for that we're going to use the simulation zone so the simulation zone is going to help us retain the displacement when the hand goes away so to do that i'm just going to first remove the set position just bring our subdivided geometry let's shift things around let's look at this now our mask if i bring it through here and preview it we basically are not seeing anything uh, because this simulation zone runs as a loop our mask info goes in but when the loop runs again it doesn't come back here so to make sure that it's stored in the loop i'm just going to use another math node this time we're going to use the add and just add this value back here if it's still showing black i uh, just make sure that your initial value is set to one uh, that way you can see the mask like that and just going to play with the if you're working with the simulation zone and you try to change the values uh, while the timeline is playing you don't really see any feedback so what you can do is go back to frame something like frame one you should be able to see the results so that i can see what i'm working on yeah so just going to bring this in make sure that this mask is good enough yeah i think that's good i can bring this back up so yeah we have that working so i can now use this mask as a set position for the set position like we did before using the combine and this should be now the z offset let's see again okay you can see what we have yeah one thing to note is this value here is just going to offset the current position of your plane so make sure that your plane has enough contact and uh, you can use this to offset it if it doesn't yeah now we have what we want i'm just going to trick these values a bit make sure that we get enough contact
Okay, now the next part is to fill these with uh, some rocks. Right now, if you look at our mask, if I use a compare attribute, I can come in here and just check out my mask. Or you can even use a map range. Um, the reason why we are seeing just black values is because we are multiplying this by a negative value. So our final output is coming in as a negative value, which renders as black. If I use a map range for this value and just take a look at that and I use zero to negative one, you can see how our mask looks. I can use a, a ramp and just to get all the detail I want. I can use this mask for other things like materials. So I'm going to go to my texture folders add-on and uh, look for some rock material. I'll grab this, set it as a new material there, and uh, then create another one uh, this time. Let's use this here. So this is material one, this is material two, and uh, we can use a set material here. If I preview just this and use this selection, go to the materials, I can use, yeah, actually this should be two. And uh, let's have another set material here uh, that uses the inverse. Actually, it should be, uh, this should be before this and perfect. Now we have the scraping. Next thing is to add these, these rocks here. I already imported that in. So let's drag that in here. Since we already have this mask here, I can use a distribute points on faces. So this here, I can, yeah, so here are our points, Join this to the original geometry so uh, so we can preview everything so you can see where our points are being distributed i want to distribute them where we we see the white color so i've just used that as the selection and now we have our points this uh yeah and that is all procedure they are generated based on that come here use our instance on points and uh, just use my rock instance random rotation and i also use a random scale just distribute more Okay, now you get that. It's, uh, if you want this to be wider, you just have to select the vertices and just extrude them on the Y, extrude them on the there, and then make sure you unwrap. So we have, yeah, we have our small rocks. Now let me scale this up, the hand up a bit to have a larger imprint. Other thing left is to add the secondary particles we have in the original one, these here. Those are easy. We just have to use our particle system. And for the particle system, we just add it to the hand itself. Just going to come here. Let's select the faces here. Go to vertex and uh, give them a new vertex group. I'll call it, I don't know, rocks. Now go to the particle system, new particle system, vertex group, RK for rock. And uh, you can see our particles. So they fall down, I want them to shoot up. So first let's uh, use object and I use the rock. Get too small, randomize, turn on rotation, randomize everything, dynamic, velocity. Yeah, good, 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 good. We need to give this a, colli a collision so that the, the particles collide. We don't want them to bounce around. So I'll use a stickiness of uh, something like eight. So they can stick friction, random friction. And uh, we want to dump them a bit so they don't go too far. But uh, we need now, the only thing left is, is to time their start. They start at frame 37 and uh, end at frame 92. Uh, we want them to shoot up a bit. Yeah. Okay, they might be a bit too many. So let's do 500. The scale can also be a bit, they can be a bit smaller. And that's how you do that. Project files are going to be on my Gumroad page, Patreon and my YouTube membership page if you want to check them out. And uh, I guess you can replace this with a character, maybe landing, superhero landing or something. Uh, that's how you do that. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.